Hello, my name's Carl Kochar, and I'm a cloud solution architect at Microsoft. This is a quick introduction on how to use Microsoft's Viva Goals app to quickly create a new organizational level objective, add a key result, perform a check-in, and close off the OKR. This is not by any means a full Viva Goals demo, and a basic level of OKR knowledge is assumed. From the Organization tab, in Microsoft Teams, we'll add a new company level objective and give it a title. If needed, we can edit the type field to change this objective to either a team or individual one. We can also modify ownership and alter the time period this objective will be associated with. From the More Options drop down, we'll keep the goal type as aspirational and we won't assign a delegate. We'll also keep the permissions such that anybody can see this objective. As you can see from the video, I've added the marketing tag to the new objective. The outcome will be measured towards 100% completion and the progress will roll up from any associated key result. After I've created the objective, we'll add an aligned key result. We'll give it a simple name and add a clear measurement metric to reflect our starting point and target. We could manually track progress, but for this key result, we'll link it to a simple Excel online integration so that data entered in the relevant cell is rolled up into Viva Goals. We can also edit the details in a similar way we did for our objective. The more options fields are also available for us to change. We can also review our key results alignment and modify it if necessary. Once our OKRs are in place, the owner should be performing regular check-ins to update their team and the wider organization on progress. This helps everyone to stay on track and make sure the OKRs are valid. OKRs can be marked as private, but having transparent objectives and key results ensures accountability in the OKR process. We can check in really easily from the OKR app or portal. As this is just a simple demonstration, we'll at mention Patty and add some text. At the end of the time period we're running the OKRs against, it may be appropriate to close them. When we do this, we'll give them a score. Viva Goals will recommend a score based upon completion against the target. However, we can override this based upon qualitative factors and change the scoring up or down as we see fit. If we need to keep working on the OKR, we're provided the option to move it into another time period. In the video, we can now see how a number of different objectives and key results align, from organization down to team level and ultimately through to individual OKRs.